G'day guys, welcome to Rumble's Fish Room. So the other day I did a video on my quarantine tank and a couple of people noticed that it didn't have a heater in it and actually inboxed me about not having a heater in my quarantine tank. So I thought that sparks an idea, let's do a video on heating my fish room. I think some of you might find this pretty interesting, some of you might not. Alright guys, so just to confirm, definitely no heaters in the tank. And the good thing about this is there's no electricity to the tanks at all. There's the low voltage 12 volt, or it's actually 24 volt light. Um, that's the only electricity around the tanks. The actual only electrical thing running in this fish room at the moment is that fan. And obviously this guy here. Um, so this is a reverse cycle air conditioner. Um, I've got it set to 28. Um, in summer I, I set it at 28. In winter I put it up to like 29, 30. Um, I find in summer the room runs hotter and it, it's harder, it doesn't flick to cool. So even though it's on 28, it, the room's usually like 30 degrees. It's gonna make a liar of me now. Yeah, look, see, bang on, 30 degrees. Um, <clears throat> so that's the only variation I make is like a couple of degrees summer to winter. I don't turn it off in summer. A lot of people in my climate say you don't need to run heaters in summer. But the thing is, um, I don't notice it on my power bill in summer. The power bill drops that much that I just leave it on because it's, it's not affecting it. Um, so this unit cost me $400, not on special, I think they're $500, um, plus installation I got for free, but um, I would say $300, so say you're building a fish room right, you'd be $800 in to put this aircon up. Now that sounds expensive right, but if you set up 30 tanks and start buying heaters, um, say an average of forty dollars each um like you're looking at twelve hundred bucks <clears throat> and that's not that's not even the main point it's not even the money it's the fact that i find aquarium heaters really unreliable i also want to mention this thing's been running for um three to four years non-stop i don't even know where the remote is that's how long oh there it is um, non-stop so it's definitely it helps me sleep at night that's for sure I'm not worried about cooking the fish due to a heater failure um, and also so just to talk about the figures a bit um, before I had that aircon my old fish room my power bill in winter was nine hundred to a thousand dollars and then I set this room up with that heater Granted, this room has more insulation, but my winter bill went from $900 to $500. And then it's gone down even more now because I've got solar. Um, but the only thing is, it, it doesn't make a huge difference in winter because the solar doesn't work very well. Um, but anyway, my point being, um, my power bill in summer is like 300. So to go to winter, it's 500. So that means the heating cost is 200. Um, when I had the tank heaters in the room, in in the other room, um, the power bill was 900. So that means that 600 of that was heating. So my heating cost went from 600 down to 200, swapping from tank heaters to that heater. So if you're on the fence about changing to a reverse cycle, hopefully this convinces you to get one. Um, obviously I understand like there's people in rentals and stuff but I'm pretty sure you can get some pretty decent um, portable reverse cycles now um, drop a comment if you've had much experience with any portable heaters and if you think they're good or bad um, it might help somebody else watching this video even like my fish tank inside um, when I that's got two heaters and a thermostat, an external um, 
ink bird thermostat just because I'm so paranoid about heaters failing um, I've, I've got the fail safe on it so then that's more money so, so like um, I don't know it's an age old t tale you talk to anybody who's been in the hobby for more than five years they've experienced a heater failure it's just part of the hobby and I can't tell you how much easier it is to sleep at night knowing I don't have to think about that anymore. Um, so I, there's, there is one small con to the room heater and that's the fact that the, the tanks are slightly different temperatures but stability is key and even though the tanks are slightly different temperatures they're stable at that temperature so I haven't had any issues with like the fish being too cold or too hot. Um, stability is key, that's for sure. Um, but anyway guys, I'm gonna wrap that up there. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you've got any more suggestions for videos, drop them in the comments. Um, if you wanna subscribe, hit that little red button and I'll see you guys tomorrow, peace out.